Hey everybody, it's Zach400 here, bringing you the next part in my Let's Play for her uh, Monster Rancher Evo. Um, I'm sorry I haven't posted in a while. I've been relatively busy. And as you all know, last time my camera glitched out in the middle of that scene, so I may as well explain what happened. And the mayor basically asks us to think about joining a um, battle competition, which is actually one of the main points of the game. And here we are with Jack. Hopefully he won't be too shunned by what happened the last time. You know, because of that evil camera. Let's just get straight to the action. The very next week you receive that scene, you'll be asked to participate again by the mayor. Oh, it's the village mayor! Oh no, well, did you think about my proposition? Yeah, I've been thinking about it. It's a lot. I've been thinking about it a lot. I want to know, though, why me? This tournament of yours, it attracts some serious breeders. Real monster battle pros. Well, I'm a pro, does that not count? I can understand how the proposition may seem a somewhat strange. May seem a somewhat strange. What the hell would this guy learn English? But the fact is, we have little problem in this village of our. We have a little problem in this village of ours. Next to our village lies some woods known as the Devil's Forest. Recently, the monster who lives in there, I refer to the Devil, of course, he has taken to coming into our fields and destroying our crops. And the village had to do something, so we decided to hold a tournament to find a breeder who could subjugate the Devil. But the winning breeders, we don't think they will ever do anything to solve our problem. Huh? Why not? The whole village contributes to a cash prize. It's supposed to fund the winner's attempt to subjugate the devil. But all they care about is the prize money. How surprising is that? Truly. Our problem is that they're too good. The breeders in our village just don't stand a chance. Now I see. You're looking for a new way to win. But the thing is, I'm kind of scared. I've never done a battle before. How can I beat pros like that? Ha! You don't know yet, do you? You, can give, you can't give up without trying first. Besides, are you saying that you don't trust your monster? That your partner in arms isn't good enough? But no! It's not that. My monster could do it for sure. That's more like it. Now you're showing some spirit. Okay, if you think I can help, I'll join. I want to see if I'm any good. Well, you're pretty good by my definition, because you're me. Oh, that is wonderful news. Wonderful. Well then, as soon as you're ready, come by my house. I'm mighty grateful to you. Not a problem, old coot. Okay, something else that happened um, last time was that I got gadgets. Gadgets are used to train your monsters in specific stats, so they grow stronger. You know those wimpy fours that we got in that last show? With these, they'll gain a lot more stats. Pororos are highly intelligence-based, um, like with their Pororo beams and lasers and everything. And I really like to hit all the time because I hate missing, so I'm going to get it to knife throw. And something else you'll want to keep on is that your uh, monster's policy will change almost all the time. But that's less to the point. We have two winners for um, the this for the monsters that we're going to use. And even better than that... Hey, buddy. Um, it turns out I still have Jack and Naxxer of the Last Frontier, so I can still do that. Which is pretty good. But the second place disc, I'm not going to let you know what that is. That's a surprise for me to know and you to find out when I put it in. Okay, the first stop. Now, I guess I should show you the village, shouldn't I? Herp it, herp it, herp it, herp. Okay, this is the saucer shop. You can go here to buy discs for monsters. What I like to do is check here every day. To see if they have anything rare, because you never know when they're going to have something really rare. Basically, anything with a sub of question mark. 
or just plain rare monsters. These are actually quite common monsters, so I'm not going to bother with any of them for now. But, yeah, that's something you should remember. The store over here, which we got the cake from, sells a whole variety of things that you can get for your monsters, such as gifts, Larox, all sorts of things. Trust me that when you start raising new monsters, you'll want to stop there a lot. Okay, over here we have the guild. Um... Let's see. Okay, so one thing about the guild is that in order to unlock it in this village, you have to beat the champions of the competition. Um, basically, it, the fight isn't challenging at all. It's really just a tutorial. What you have to do is go and talk to the mayor. Oh, you came! Are you ready? Then the Double Hunter Championship will be held tomorrow at the outskirts of the village. I will contact the Burritos, who will be our opponents. Now all you have to do is go to him next week. But, before I do that, there's one last thing I need to show you. Now, don't take this too seriously into heart. But, um, this is the, um, gadget shop. You'll notice, however, there's no one behind the counter. That's because in the first village, no matter what, the shop is closed. I'm pretty sure with a action replay or something like that, you could cheat that, but I'm not going to. I want to play this game fair and square. Alright, now we skip to the next week. There they are! Those are the breeders I was talking about. Smooth jazz music, purple outfits, this can only be one thing. Ha ha ha, do they really think they can stand up to Baron Dotty? Ridiculous, they should know that no one is better than Dotty. Listen up, you need someone to take care of that devil and look no further than Baron Dotty. And Lady Petty otherwise known as... That's right! The Violet Cats! Leave everything to us, Mayor! Ha 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 ha! No, not even a unique laugh? Alright, these guys are pretty much your rivals for the entire series. Or at least until the last two worlds. But they also are who you have to fight for your first fight as a tutorial. What's this? They've sent a servant and a drab little monster to challenge Baron Dulcie. What do you mean? We're no servants. And what do you mean Jack is a drab? You must be kidding, Mayor. Ha 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 ha. A servant? Who's drab? No, no. No need to get angry. Let's get started. Stand by, everyone. What a creep. We can't lose to them. Damn straight. N no, we can't let them win. Of course, I'm smiling while I say that. Let's do it. Alright, this is the battle subscreen, which you'll see um, before you enter any dungeon or, in this case, a battle. All you have to do is select your monster and where you would like them to be. For this, I suggest you have them in the middle position. One click forward or backward won't kill you. Um, right now you don't have any equipment. I've never really had a need for equipment, so don't worry about it too much. If you want to use equipment, you can. But, um... Yeah, that's all you have to do. Now, Baron Dotty will teach you how to do monster battles. Otherwise, you won't be able to battle. Ha ha ha! Well, if you are going to explain it, that's nice. It is X first time. Based on which species they are, monsters can use various unique skills, but to use them, you need guts. First, selecting skills. Press X to go to the options menu. Then, turn the left analog stick to tunnel between options. Select skills using X. Well, you might not have many to select yet, but try it anyways. Alright, um, very basically, it forces you to choose a move when you start the battle. But, um, battles work quite similarly to what he says. You pretty much pound on your enemies with unique attacks. For now, all we have is Ice Boom. 
It's a far range move, decent damage. It's not my favorite though. Simply select your attack and your target. Now they will always guard that first strike. In this case, he's now telling us to move forward. We can stop with the triangle button, move forward or backwards with the left stick, and you can link to your enemies to perform a different set of moves called close range attacks. Now that I'm linked to the enemy, I can perform a close range attack. In this case, one, two. Again, decently hitting, doesn't use too many guts. So let's punch him straight in the face. See, he's like a clown ninja made of taffy. He's awesome. Alright, now, in order to break out of a um, link, just press square repeatedly. You'll break out in an instant. Let's see. Now, notice that his monster has red arrows coming out of his head along with an exclamation and question mark. As Nayuta just said, it's called Haywire. Haywire um, is very simple. It changes um, a lot of things. For one, depending on the type of Haywire, they'll go forward or backwards. But something they all have in common is that it will um, reduce your speed and accuracy. So what you want to do when you can is use monsters that trust you a lot. So it can be a bit of a pain. What you want to do for now is back away while hitting him with Ice Boom. One more hit could do it, but sometimes it takes a little bit more. But you pretty much got that battle in the bag. And that's how battles work. What on earth? How could Dottie's monster be defeated? Plus, a cunning plan to swindle these people out of their money is ruined. Hmm? You mean you were going to... Oops, how could I? The evil genius Dottie. Let something like that slip! Let's get out of here, Lady Penny. Hmm. I told you to forget about that stupid plan of yours. I could give you all the money you could ever want, but no! Yeah, by the way, she's rich. She's rich to the brim. I'm serious. I don't even see why they even have that crappy monster. You'll see that there's an optional boss at the end of the game. Yeah, with that kind of money, she could have bought that optional boss at any time and kicked your ass. So, remember that. Shut up, Penny! A true evil genius must pursue evil at every opportunity, remember? Y yes that's right forgive me Dottie. When you are discovered, run for the hills! That's right. Well then, farewell everyone. <laughs> Ugh. How could I let those little brats fool me like that? It's so humiliating! Don't worry, Mayor. At least we did what we came here for. Yes. Yes, that's right. Now, everyone has chosen in the Devil Hunt Championship. Everyone. Will use their winnings to make preparations before heading to Devil's Forest to take care of the Devil once and for all! Hmm? It, it, is that how this works? Well, of course. Sure, now that we've won a contest, we're famous monster breeders. Wow, it's that easy. And besides, if we can't help people out like this, we'll never... What was that? Oh, nothing. So we're off to Devil's Forest for a big adventure. We'll take care of that nasty old devil. Hey, hey how did this happen? Derp. Well, unfortunately, I'm going to have to cut the video here, so see you guys later.